Elephants hate lions. They would stomp any cubs into a bloody pulp, given half a chance. The mighty lion is born toothless. But in just two years, those who survive become accomplished killers. More than half of all lions die before their first birthday. <laughs> Cubs have to fight to survive. From the moment they can crawl, they have to learn how to kill. What starts as play becomes a high-stakes game of life and death on the African felt. to live another day. Lions have to get close before they can launch a killer blow. Lionesses stay low, scanning the savannah with sharp eyes, able to pick out a target in the shimmering heat haze. Prey stands out on the flat plains, silhouetted against a stark blue sky. 
human eyes see best in a center circle of vision. A lion sees differently. Details are seen in an elongated strip, perfect for following prey moving across a horizon. Prey like zebra can spot the slightest movement. That's why lions stalk low and slow, using all available cover. The lioness may appear obvious to us, but zebra mostly see in shades of yellow and blue. Creeping paws are turned upwards. The fur muffles the footfalls. After a silent stalk, she's ready to pounce. Lions are sprinters, not endurance runners. Less than one in five solo lion hunts are successful on the Serengeti. have learned that they're more likely to make a kill by working together as a team. Lionesses do most of the hunting in a pride. Cubs that haven't been weaned are left behind by the working mothers who have to kill to keep them fed. Hunting in a pack makes them twice as likely to succeed. The lionesses fan out, cutting off escape routes. They operate in silence, with an instinctive awareness of each other's positions. Once in position, they watch and wait for a target to stray into their 50 meter killing zone. Catching prey is one thing, killing is another. Prey must be subdued fast for lions to avoid being injured in the process, but the big cats are built for the kill. Their 
huge paws are tipped with powerful claws. Their fearsome incisors are perfectly evolved to seize and slice through flesh. Powerful jaws are designed to clamp a victim's throat, crushing the windpipe, constricting air and blood flow. Once they've got their teeth into their prey, their sensitive whiskers turn inwards, detecting the moment when the victim has stopped breathing, and it's safe to let go. Hunting is hard work on the baking African felt. Lions can easily overheat. They risk heat exhaustion and death. To keep their body temperature down, they seek shade in the heat of the day and prefer to hunt by night. Lions love the night. It keeps them cool in the heat of the hunt and they can close in under the cover of darkness. In daylight, lions see as well as humans, but in low light, their vision is six times as sensitive. Both lions and wildebeest have a mirror-like membrane at the back of their eyeballs, reflecting light back towards sensitive cells. The night belongs to the lions. When a kill has stopped kicking, the cubs are brought in to feed. It gives them a taste for blood and helps develop the skills they'll need to hunt for themselves. This stricken impala is in shock and won't fight back. But other animals will and the cubs need to learn fast. Female lions do their best to teach their cubs how to hunt. But usually they'll learn by trial and error. Mostly error. Cubs learn the hard way that some animals are too small. Some are too tough. While others are just too dangerous. To a young lion, anything that runs is an irresistible target.
but one mongoose soon becomes many. This cub learns a valuable lesson. About strength in numbers. It'll spend the next year honing its hunting skills for more formidable prey ahead. These young lions may look capable of killing, but like typical teenagers, they've got more attitude than ability. It'll be another year before they're able to make a solo kill, but it doesn't stop them trying. Impala may be small, but their instinct for danger is finely tuned. And they're aided by other eyes high in the trees. The secret to the lion's success is sneaking up close without being seen. The young lions make a fundamental error and launch a premature charge from too far away. Frustrated, the young lions turn their attentions to the lookout in the trees above. But adult lions rarely chase baboons up trees, and this cub is about to learn why. The would-be attacker is pelted with sticks. before the besieged baboon unleashes its secret chemical weapon. The cub is forced to beat a humiliating retreat. For young lions, killing is mostly a spectator sport. They learn what to attack, and from what distance, by watching the adults. Sometimes an unfortunate victim becomes a teaching aid.
Her baby warthog has become live bait. Nature is often cruel, but luckily for the warthog piglet, the lion cubs have much to learn. But the cubs will grow fast, and so will their killer instincts. At 18 months old, the young lions are bigger and stronger, but they still have a lot to learn. They are now bold, and bored, and looking for trouble. But lions do not always rule the African bush. There is one animal that even the most experienced lion will think twice about confronting. Just one mighty African buffalo can weigh in at more than two-thirds of a ton. Unlike other animals, they won't immediately scatter when threatened, but work together to fight back. And if a herd stumbles upon a pride of lions, they'll attack first, hitting the most vulnerable members of the pride. As the cubs scramble for shelter, the adults try distracting the bulls. But it is no use. The old bulls stamp the life out of their stricken cubs. Buffalo lose interest when the cubs stop moving. Mothers call for their cubs. But three young lions will never hunt again. Few animals can take on a pride of lions and win. But the African buffalo is well protected with a heavy leathery hide, yet it's surprisingly fast and nimble on its feet. So when teenage lions dare to threaten an old bull, it can turn its back on the upstart attackers. And if the young lions dare to launch an assault, they'll learn a hard and painful lesson. Teenage lions can't resist a challenge. The adults sit back and watch. Wise enough not to waste energy. The immature cubs commits a cardinal sin. 
and attack as individuals. Alone, they're no match for an African buffalo. Reinforcements arrive. Outnumbered and overpowered, the lions are forced to retreat to the trees. They'll have to stay there and hope the buffalo lose interest. The cubs pay a heavy price for their bravado. Injured and hungry, they're left to lick their wounds. The adults take over to show them how it's done. Getting close enough to kill means using all available cover. To have any chance of success, they must separate individuals from the herd. The cubs watch and learn. As the buffalo get nervous, they spread out. It's a big mistake. They're losing the defensive advantage of being in a group. The pride circles the herd, moving into attack positions. One lion makes her move, herding the buffalo into an ambush. They've found their target, and when the buffalo attempts to rejoin the rest of the herd, they cut it off and attack as a group. Concentrate on the rear of the animal, biting down on the backbone, weakening the buffalo so they can pull it to the ground. Other lions distract the buffalo from the front, keeping the attackers at the rear clear of its lethal horns. The buffalo has incredible stamina. It's an hour before the ordeal is over. This one kill provides enough meat to feed the pride for several days. The teenagers join the feast. It won't be long before they're physically and mentally built for the kill.
The lion cubs are now two years old. They're almost fully grown, stronger and more skilled than the clumsy cubs they once were. The elephants return. There's a showdown, but there can only be one winner. of day, the elephants are just too big and strong. The young lions turn their attentions to another towering giant of the African bush. Giraffes present a unique challenge. Lions choke their prey, but this throat is five meters off the ground. They single out an individual and try to bring it down. can shatter a lion's skull or break its spine. onto a slippery surface like a road or riverbank is another tactic. The time has come for the young lions to earn their keep. They need to make a kill of their own. But even after two years of intensive training, it isn't easy. This young male spent three weeks trying to make his first solo kill. dramatically unsuccessful. He 
He lost one target in the dust. In this case, he left himself too much ground to cover. nothing is bigger or more dangerous than an elephant. Not all lions are equipped to take on the largest animal in Africa. Only one specialized, highly experienced population has learned how to kill elephants. These adults learned and perfected their unique skills as cubs. The attack begins with psychological warfare. The roaring in the dark intimidates and confuses the elephants. Compared to the lion's excellent night vision, the elephants are virtually blind. In the confusion, an individual makes a fatal dash for safety. attack is a group. Targeting the hind legs, they bite and claw at the elephant's hamstrings. It only takes 60 seconds to pull the elephant to the ground. Some clamp its trunk shut, while others attack the throat and mouth. It takes 90 minutes for the elephant to die. Bringing down an elephant is an extraordinary achievement. The result of the big cat's unique ability to adapt and organize within a social system. 
immense strength and sophisticated hunting skills. Turn clumsy cubs into adept adults. It makes lions of the African felt built for the kill.